All right, here's an exploded view of the internals of a brake booster. I'm gonna show you how to put it back together. Here's the outside housing. We've gotten two torn down real quick because we had a brake on this one. I'm gonna install this one into our original housing. There's some more of the parts for it. I'm gonna show you which order it goes back together and how to put things in there. Get this plunger assembly? Yeah. All right, we're gonna get this plunger assembly and it goes down into this plastic shaft, whatever you wanna call it. It kinda just pops in there. Then down inside there you have a snap ring that holds it in. All right, it's a little tricky to get that snap ring down in there, but once you get it in, this little O-ring goes over top of it onto that shaft. All right, next we're gonna put this locking ring collar down into here. There's a spring down there and a kind of a cap, and then I'll hold that down in there so it doesn't come apart. Kind of like this right here. It'll slide down there and the spring pushes up and puts tension on it. Okay. We use a socket to push it down in there. You just hammer it down until it uh, sets into place and it all feels pretty snug. Alright, we got this double diaphragm disc right here. Then we're going to put the sleeve back through it the way it came out, which is like this. And then we're going to put this other ring back on here that holds the diaphragm onto the collar. Alright, then you're going to get this diaphragm and it's going to slide over top of the outside of this ring right here. Might take a little persuasion. <laughs> All right, there's that part. Cause that's next, right? Was there? Wait, was there? Any... Now we're gonna insert this piece into there. All right, make sure to clean up any debris on any of the seals, and reapply some lubricant before you install this part right here. Alright, so once you have your diaphragm in there, there's a couple other pieces that are going to go down in there to hold it together. It goes together in this order right here. And then you'll put that back on there. And you want to make sure to clock it before you take it apart. That's something we forgot to do. Uh, mark the outside of it before you pry it up the tabs right here. So that way it goes back together, you took it apart. Okay, so. Okay. All right, it was a pain to get this thing back together, but basically, you have to push down on here and line these tabs up with these holes that you took it apart with. You kind of pry it in there to take it apart. And then you gotta have somebody push down on it 
while you get a punch and a hammer and push that tab back down over top of there. You gotta keep a lot of pressure and make sure it doesn't walk on you. Yeah, be careful not to hurt this. This is the main reason we had to take this apart because it got broken on the other one. And then we're just gonna put our seal in here. And our push rod for the master cylinder. dust cover there. Then get your dust cover and your eyelet that connects to the brake pedal. There you go, it's all put together.